Carol. Carol. Did you steal my comb? Look, Carol, I just got here. And, you know, I was at the new girl's house. I let her practice blowing out my hair. It did not go very well. No, so I need to straighten it. You know which one I'm talking about, Carol. And Carol, why does the heating keep kicking on? I've been in here for like three minutes. And it's come on five times. Now, girl, you need to stop going through my stuff. You just threw it back in here. Oh, here it is. You're in luck. I did not want to use this one. This is my old one. Davy bought me this one. Now, I know Davy's a piece of trash, okay? Everybody knows that. I still have to try to appreciate the things he gives me when he does give me things. Because it is few and far in between when he does something sweet. I have a client. Who is it? Because I didn't schedule them. What did you do for your uh, winter break there, Carol? You hung out with Janine? Are you kidding me? You were invited to her family's Christmas party? I didn't get an invitation to her family's Christmas party. No, I did not. She's telling people she invited me, and I turned her down. Well, listen, that ain't the truth, but I would have turned her down. Okay. So, that's not how it happened. But, it's how it would have happened. But no, it would have been nice to at least receive an invitation. I know that I'm not like everyone's favorite person here just because all I do is shampoo and I'm like I'm learning but I'm probably a burden on everyone. Carol shut your mouth you you're the one that makes me feel that way you're the one that sighs every time I need you to come check something or ask you for help like to ask you for help you just like groan and moan make it seem like a burden maybe I should just go back to shampooing then huh okay okay who's coming in oh hello sweetie yes it's so good to see you come over come over have a seat how are you doing Great. Oh uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be ready in a moment. Uh yeah, I had that new girl. It's, what was her name again, Carol? It's been so long like she joined us right before the break and you know how awful I am with names. Yes, okay, yeah. So I went to her house today and let her practice on my hair. Like she was practicing a blowout. And while she did a decent job, it's just there are some spots that I like looking a certain way. And you can't always achieve it with a blow dryer like all this up under here. So, um, how have you been? How was your winter break? You took one, right? I know the way you do that social media stuff, you don't really get a break, do you? Oh, good, you made time for one that is very uh, healthy. That's a good choice. You made a great choice there. Um, okay. 
This is better. I can stop now. Watch me say that, but keep going. There's a spot under there, isn't there? There's something going on here. Oh, you went on a cruise with your husband, so everything's okay then. After that secret mission we pulled off, everything's still fine. Okay, great. Great. Okay, okay. That should be good. That's better than it was. Yeah, that's good. That's great, actually. Okay, let me just set this over here. Are we going to need that for your hair later? Am I just going to dry it with the blow dryer? Or did you want me to, like, do a full-on style? Because you're coming in for that new year, new you look, right? Okay. All right. Perfect. Um, so... I do have to tell you, because I'm not, don't tell Carol we're doing this, okay? Don't tell Carol. But that promotion ended last week. Yeah, so, um, I'm gonna have to, like, sneak it under the table, but I'll still give you that promotion, okay? Because I know not everyone could be in at the right time. And listen, you are one of my favorite people, so... I honestly am not bothered by it, and if Carol has a problem, what's she gonna do about it? Apparently, we're all managers here. We can't all just, you know, I don't know who did that, but somebody did that. Okay, so tell me, sweetie, let me play with your hair a little bit here and see how we're doing with it. So, you had me trim it last time. That's right, that's right. Okay, and, um, oh no, sweetie. Oh, good. That's not a gray. It must just be a dog hair. Do you have a dog? Oh, maybe it's a whaling hair. Oh, I'm sorry if you're getting whaling hairs on you already. Oh, my goodness. I apologize. Anyway. So, uh, what, what did you want to do with your hair today? Let me brush it out and everything. Yeah, it's freezing cold outside. That's why we have the heating on. And Carol really needs to turn it off. It's going to be hot in here. It's going to be a sauna, Carol. Please turn it off. Please turn it off. Okay, anyway. Um, that, that winter weather really whips your hair around, doesn't it? Just going to brush out everything here. Oh, you wanna go, you wanna go all out, you wanna go blonde. You want me to take the black to blonde? I've never done something with so much bleach in my life. I'm very nervous about that. Listen, sweetie, I appreciate the faith you have in me, but um, I need to have it myself. To feel like I can do anything. All right, so we've got that there. Oh, can you just sit still, sweet? I know my chair is broken. It's it's a real problem. Carol, it's starting again. I hear it. Listen, I know it's freezing outside, but when nobody's coming in and out, the door's not being open. Do you have someone coming in? Cause I'm my client's currently here. I don't know what you're waiting on over there, but okay. Well, I don't think it needs to stay on. Yeah, plug in like a space heater or something. It'll keep it warm in here, but it won't like, you know, be too much. We don't want things to be too much. Anyway, how was that cruise? Where did you go? Oh my goodness. That sounds exotic. Alright, so are you sure you want me to take you from this lovely black? Because you remember we did put black over it last time. Um, just to make you more of a jet black. 
um, intensify the color of it. Now, that wasn't a permanent, that was a semi-permanent, so um, could have washed out, but still we gotta be very careful with that. I cannot get you like the blonde I have in my hair, this bright blonde, I cannot do that with your hair, um, unless it was multiple sessions. And you probably, it'll probably damage your hair. Carol, are you playing with that switch over there? I'm so sorry. Probably take multiple sessions. It could be achievable, but I don't want to damage your hair. And we know I'm not that well versed in the bleach and the everything. So we could try this time. We could try it. See how light we get you. And go from there. But, oh, okay, so you just want a really drastic change for the new year, like, okay, okay, I understand, no cut though today, no cut, okay, yeah, because I think we did that last time, just a little face framing and stuff, I'm learning, I'm learning, but it's kind of, kind of hard, uh, do you mind if I use the same comb I used in my hair, or would you prefer I use my older comb? Okay, okay, um, yeah, because we're all friends here, right? We're all friends. Anyway, I'm gonna just section the top half up then, and we'll get started with this. And we'll do, you wanted the full-on head massage shampoo that came with that, right? Okay. Alright, no, I'll get you clean, i get you. Okay. Let me just, you know, I brushed your hair and it just doesn't want to separate. There we go. Okay, let me get the rest of this up here. Now, you aren't doing this for your husband, are you? I mean, like, you could kind of be doing it for your husband, but did you want to go blonde? Because I don't, I don't like doing people's hair. Not that it's really any of my business anyway, but I don't like doing hair when I know it's not what the client wants and it's what like a significant other wants them to do like it's up to you what you do with your hair i just if you're gorgeous the way you are you don't have to change for no one okay okay as long as you know that okay you've always wanted to be blonde all right now okay i get it i get it um, you're doing quite a bit of moving there, darling. I need you to sit still, okay? And I know this is like a little nerve-wracking. Especially when you got me doing the, the, the color in here. But let me see if I can tighten your chair a bit. Not really. Anyway, okay. So let me get the bowl mixed up. We'll get you started. Let me look for what I'm looking for. Okay, we got that L'Oreal. L'Oreal. Preference. Superior preference. Only the best for our salon. Carol. Now, Carol, I've seen you leaving bits of your food around. Um, what, what does that mean? Like you're just leaving sandwich crusts on the floor. What are you doing over there? Carol, you know we have pet stores for that, right? I understand if your nephew terribly wants a rat, but we aren't... Are you trying to get rats in here? You know that could get a shut down. We don't do anything with food, but just the fact that it's a, a health hazard... I don't understand you sometimes. Okay. Alright, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of conditioner to this just because I don't want to damage your hair. We're gonna do what we can to prevent this. And last time Carol told me conditioner was fine, but. I've got sensitivities to that conditioner. I'll be using that later in your hair. The shampoo and conditioner. Next thing. 
going to do that, but I'm, I'm going to wrap one of these little towels around your neck instead, okay? Because I don't want to, I don't want to, uh, get that cape out and in the way. Sometimes they're just too much. Okay, I'm just going to clip it around you there. Okay. Now, this is your last chance to tell me that you don't want to do this to your hair because let me tell you, once we get started, Sweetie, are you nervous or no? Because, like, I can't tell. Oh. No, 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 no. It's okay, it's okay. I mean, obviously we have Carol here. Carol can fix it if I do anything wrong, but... This is your last chance. I'm not going to use foils. Okay. No, I'm not. I'm going to just put put a bag or so over your head. Not like that. You know what I mean. Over the hair. So it warms up. On its own. Okay. Again, last time, last chance, you can turn around and tell me you don't want to do this, okay? Okay, okay, you're sure, man. I'm putting it on the hair. Okay, okay. All right, there we go. Put this on. Okay. Just going to work that in. sure we get it everywhere. Um, are you sure you don't want to do a shadow root? Because we can kind of keep we can kind of keep the uh, darkness in. Okay, well, we have a little bit of time to decide that because I'm going through the ends first, okay? I'm going to go through the ends first. Let's just grab it another piece. Yeah, we have a little bit of time to decide that. Now, if you see Carol putting food on the ground, you tell me. If she's doing something behind me that I can't see, I need you to tell me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, did you hear what she said? She's trying to she's trying to get a rat for her nephew to have as a pet. You you do not do that with a wild rat. You go and get a rat from the pet store. I don't know what her plan is here. Go ahead and turn for me a little bit. Turn for me a little bit so I can get this out of here. Yeah, she's trying to get a rat for her nephew. You'd think she'd want to get, like, a clean rat, not a rat from the floor. Like, I know we used to, we used to get rats in here. Like, I've been here long enough to know we did used to get rats. Yeah. Oh yeah, we had um, um, we had a Geraldine actually run in the place. I think that's why nobody's a manager now or everybody's a manager because Geraldine left. Geraldine pieced out. Um, she she could not handle Carol, obviously Janine, obviously, and um, it just everything kind of went south, and so. Yeah, but we did have rats when Geraldine was here, and Geraldine tried to get rid of them, but then I assume Carol being the sicko she is, tried to keep them around then, too. Use this comb again. We don't want to use my nice new comb with the bleach. Didn't want to ruin it. Also, didn't want to ruin your hair. Okay. I 
Am I tugging you? I see your chair wobbling. Is it just the chair? Okay, well, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Didn't mean to cause an earthquake for you, but, um, yeah, no, um, Gerald didn't, again, just couldn't handle them. I went to manage a different salon. Yeah. You may, in fact, even see her around town. I don't know, like, what places she goes anymore. Okay. I'll let your hair down here. I want the top. Look on that, and then I'll go through with the roots, okay? Um, are, like, are we still deciding on shadow root, or uh, what do you want? Okay, okay. So you just want me to go to the root. Now, it may grow in looking like a shadow root. I know mine's not perfect, but the way it's growing in kind of looks like a shadow root, but then it also kind of doesn't. It just kind of also looks like I just had it done to the root and then it grew out, which is fine. That's, I don't mind mine. It's fine, but I don't know if that's what you want. So we have to decide if that's what you want. If I do it all the way up, it will grow in like that, except for your hair's a little bit darker than mine, so. Sweetie, have you been putting things in your hair again? Like that tinsel, that ungodly tinsel. Okay, no, I'm just, you just got knots. Okay. All right. Probably from that cruise with all the wind whipping in your hair, huh? Oh, yeah. Before you came in here, I was talking to Carol. Because who else was I going to talk to when I'm alone in here? I'm myself. not really alone, alone with Carol. Um, and she told me that Janine invited her to her family Christmas party. And then Janine was telling people that she invited me, but she didn't. And that I turned her down. But I did, although I would have, but not, none of that happened. None of that happened. I mean, it would have, but it didn't. I didn't even get an invite. I wish I would have, though, so if this could be true, but it wasn't. And then her meat sack, I would have seen her meat sack up close. Remember I told you she brought her, brought, well, I don't know, I don't know, you know, if it's a boy or girl, I don't know, uh, but she did bring the meat sack in here that one time, and I refused to get close to it, I told you that, I told you that, yeah, yeah, but I would have been able to see the meat sack up close, like, at her home, or maybe her family's home, I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know. But like she's telling everybody that that I turned her down, which I would have. But I didn't. I didn't. Carol, why are you being nosy? What are you saying over there to yourself? Because nobody's here for you. Oh, yes, yeah. You know what? Well, you can go and tell Janine. Go ahead and tell Janine that I'm talking crap. She's lying. She's a filthy liar. She's a filthy liar. Okay. Your hair grew quite a bit. Did I say that already? Oh yeah, your hair. I remember when we trimmed it, I thought we did something real short then. I thought that was a drastic change, but no, we're doing a drastic change today. Huh? We're doing a drastic change today. Okay, so I have done almost everything. Have I done it? No, I didn't know. 
Just a couple more and then we're good. Carol, you know what? What what's it going? It's eleven. Carol, go eat your dang lunch then. Are you even expecting anyone or are you just the extra person today in case somebody does a walk in? Oh, you don't have someone till later. Okay, well. We are seeing I wouldn't want to go to Carol if I was a walk-in, but that's how it is today. Okay. Go eat your lunch then if you're gonna eavesdrop. Okay. We got rid of her. Alright. Yeah, anyway, that Christmas party, I was not about to take that Christmas party. I would think it would just be for her family. But no, apparently she thinks Carol's family. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they are related, you know, they both annoy me, I don't know, maybe it's a thing. Did you have a good Christmas aside from the cruise? Like, did you see family or anything? Or Okay. Oh, so it was like your first Christmas with just the both of you then? Nobody was able to make it out? You weren't able to go there? Oh, the husband's work. I see, I see. I see. Now, that happens sometimes. You know, when Davey used to work, we, we spent, I don't know, like three Christmases? Just us, and let me tell you, those were some sad Christmases for me. Some blue, blue Christmases, if you know what I'm saying. Um, because Davy doesn't like tradition, no, Davy doesn't. Um, so he really just he hated all my decorations, he didn't want to watch Rudolph. He just wanted to watch, what's that one that people say is a Christmas? Die Hard. He just wanted to watch Die Hard. And I'm like, Davy. Now, every time he turned Die Hard on, I left the room, so I honestly don't know if it is or not, but. Now, and then he didn't, we, you know, I made the effort. I went to my, my family, but um, Davy stayed here by himself with Waylon and guess what when I came home Waylon uh, he didn't clean up a single thing Waylon did in the house you know what I'm saying uh, and he barely even let Waylon outside because most of the mess was inside all right I'm ready to do your roots you want me to do your roots okay all right just making sure just making sure I'm gonna go along the top here then get down the center first Alright. Um, yeah, so I barely got him any presents. Like, one of the only presents he got me ever was that comb. And I don't even know where he got it from, honestly. I don't know. I don't have a clue. Alright. Section it over. Alrighty. Okay. And do you want them like? Apparently, mine is still called a money piece. Do you want a money piece? I could like do it a little bit lighter or like just make sure I get like I really hit around the roots in the front here. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, I didn't think mine was called a money piece. I just wanted to live that pop punk dream I had in high school, you know, with the hair being all dyed. And I just I was a little nervous about dyeing my hair. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but then I did it, and it was, I mean, I like it. I don't really care if anybody else doesn't like it, because it's my freaking head. It's my head, everybody. It's my head. <laughs> Oh yeah, you get you get some strangers on the street that just walk up to you and go, Oh, what did you do to your head? And it's like, who even are you? I have never seen you in my days. I guess they might have seen me, but it's like, you don't know me, Queen. King? Whatever, I don't know. Anyway, now I'm just mumbling about things. Um, but yeah, so Davy, what I got Davy was a six pack because that's all he ever wants was not going to get him tickets to a NASCAR game because let me tell you, he all he did was watch it from home and it's like Dave doesn't even realize he's watching reruns at this point. Like, I, I don't know unless he enjoys it that much. He'll just watch reruns of races. But my goodness, it's the same thing every time. It is the same thing every time. Okay. I'm going to do the section on that side of your head as well. We're going to get over there. Let me... You're moving again, sweet thing. You're kind of getting far away from me. Oh, you were just stretching. Okay, well, I need you to sit up again. Okay, there you go. Okay. Waylon, yes, Waylon was a good boy this year. Santa Paul's definitely came and treated Waylon. Um, Waylon got new toys and new treats, ones that are flavored like Christmas flavors, like gingerbread and eggnog. Um, didn't think that dogs would have a preference, but Waylon did not like eggnog. No, I mean I've never had it myself, so I wouldn't know if I liked it thought the dog might because you know dogs like the majority of things sometimes they're a little picky just make sure I got it all on your scalp here uh yeah no he 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 did not like them he ate them but it was like he'd look at me like this again why don't you give me the gingerbread house one or why wouldn't you give me there was uh, hot cocoa there was even peppermint yeah, so we got through the eggnog first, and he had, he had the rest. Let me, I've got the bag here, we're going to put it over the head. Okay. How was that? Okay. Alright, so we're just going to let that process for a little bit. I am going to clean up this mess. And I'll be back. I'll check you out. And then we will go to the bowl, okay? Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you more about, you know, whatever's going on when we're, when we're in that process, okay? Okay, sounds good. Alright, so just hang out on your phone. I'll be right back. Alright, sweet thing, let me just check under the... Under the... Cap here. Okay. You know what? I think... Carol. Why did you throw this cape at me, Carol? You are rude. What are you eating up in the back room? It smells like fish. What? Aren't there rules for like when you're working with other people, you do not bring fish to the office or fish to the salon? Like it's going to make the whole place smell like fish. Any walk-ins we have are going to walk right out. None of them are going to want to be in here. I'm so sorry that she's doing this to you and you're, I mean, we can't, you can't leave right now. You're kind of stuck with this. Um... Carol, you are insane. Okay. 
sorry. Um, yeah, I think. Um, yeah, just another minute. Let me get things prepared here. So we've got the the swallow, the swallow bay professionals for you, and then I've got some little towels and things. Um, some of which I noticed have holes in them. I bet you Carol has let rats in here and Carol's taken them home. Carol is disgusting. Carol. Yeah, you. Yeah. Some of these towels have holes in them. We'll go check the laundry. I found one the other day. Yeah. You, you're letting rats chew on our towels? Is that how you're sneaking them home? Girl, Carol, no, no. All right, let me let me check again here. Okay, I think we're good. I'm just gonna slide that off, you know. Put that over there with the cape Carol threw at me again. I'm so sorry. Carol's in a mood like ever since she got home from visiting with Janine's family. She's a little worse. A little worse. Okay, so go ahead and spin around and have you get in the bowl. Remember, the chair's a little broken. The sink's still broken. I don't know who's supposed to be fixing it. I think Carol's lying to me about somebody coming in to actually fix it, but I have the water sprayers. Okay, so we're good. We're good, and then we'll wash it out. All right. So go ahead and turn around and get comfortable in the sink, okay? Okay. Okay, are you comfortable in the sink there, sweet thing? All right. All right, so let me just get the shampoo ready. And you wanted the full, like, massage, um, new year, new you treatment, right? You wanted the whole thing? Okay, okay. All right. So we're going to just wash it out. I... I cannot believe how well your hair looks like I'll, I'll do the reveal I won't show you right now but I'll do the reveal it looks so good I'm just gonna lather this on your head here Carol Carol are you putting that fish on the floor did you bring that here that stinky food just to get the rat. You are crazy. My client did not come here for this. I am so sorry. Okay, so we're going to do the um, first shampoo in here. Need to put a little bit of water. Just wanted to get that under your hair. Alrighty. We got the sprayer here. Let me just spray ya. Cover your precious eyes. Carol, can you refill my sprayer? Carol, I have a right to yell at you. You are allowing rats into our establishment. Get around your hairline here. Okay, we're going the temples. Carol, I can't believe you. Carol, is that a rat? You cannot. You can't take that home to your nephew. Your nephew's gonna get diseases. Oh gosh. Well, get it out of here. I don't care if you put it in your car. Maybe it'll bite you and you'll get rat powers. Who knows? Although she's kind of a rat already, I'm not gonna lie. Washing the 
Lee Chow. Everything's coming out good. Looks even. I did something right. <laughs> what a lovely thing to know. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, yeah, so you wanted to hear about Davy and Waylon a little bit more. Um, Davy, I mean, he's doing the same thing. Like I said, watching reruns of NASCAR, he's not the brightest, not the sharpest tool in the shed, as they say. Anyway. Um, Waylon, on the other hand, genius of, of a dog. I, uh, we, we've already talked about how smart Waylon is. Um... He actually, you'll never believe this, he's graduating his training. Pretty soon he's got a semester left. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and he's gonna, he, they're actually gonna hire him. He's gonna get paychecks. He's doing a lot more than Davey. Oh yes, I need a little bit more water. That's what I was trying to do. There we go. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah, he's going to be making paychecks. Um, it's what he wants to do, though. I would never force my dog to do something he didn't want to do. Because I told you, I've even shown you pictures, I think, of how excited he gets when the buses pull up. And, you know, the crosswalk lady is asking for help with the walking of the kids across the street and stuff. Um, he, I've never seen a dog with passion like Waylon never could you lift your head a little bit I'm gonna get behind you there we go Yes, oh yes, the crosswalk lady is very excited that he's actually going to have a certification. That just proves that, you know, if any of the parents are concerned that he is fully trained and safe for the kids to be around. I think, you remember when you first came in here, I told you I took him in because he was a beast. Yeah, he was a beast because he didn't feel like he had a purpose. Now he has a purpose. Um, yeah. Yeah, he just, he felt like he had no direction. But now he has direction. And he is so full of life. You know, I wish Davey could find some passion like that. I mean, I know he loves NASCAR, but like, come on. You think, you think he would try to do something with that then like try to get involved with NASCAR he's not that smart like I said not the sharpest anyway all right I'm gonna add a little bit of water rinse that out and then we'll do a new new um squeeze of shampoo and that'll be what I use to help massage your head just so we have a little bit of uh, a sliding agent you know all right rinse that out sweetie your hair's falling out are you a little bit stressed is it your job yeah because I know you can't really like I said earlier you can't really take a break Oh, it's just, oh, getting back into the swing of it. I understand. I understand. Like, I came in here that first day, um, back, and, oh, and I just could not find the will to be here with both Carol and Janine at the same time. And, like, neither of them brought up the Christmas thing. Neither of them did. But Carol brought it up today. That's how I found out. Alrighty. So we're going to get into the massage now. I'm going to just, again, around your temples here, along your hairline. Just going to get along your hairline. 
and the temples. See, I'm professional at my job, okay? I I studied for this. I have a certification for shampooing, okay? I know all the pressure points on the scalp. I know, you know, when you're having headaches, probably has to do with the pressure points too, doesn't it? I know the shampoos that are good for the massaging and I just know certain hand movements that you should do along these places to induce the most relaxation, okay? You gotta do like a motion like this along the scalp. Has you felt, right? You felt that? Okay, yeah. Now I'm just gonna rub along the back of your head here. Make sure we got all that bleach out in the process. You are gonna love your hair. I'm telling you. I'm keeping it a secret on purpose. I wanna see your face and not the upside down in the bowl. You know, I wanna... I wanna get a good look at your reaction. Okay. from you. Do you want me to ask about your job or would you rather not? Oh, you're getting sent in air fryer. Oh my goodness. What kinds of, what kinds of content are you making again? Oh, so that's kind of out there, isn't that? Wow, okay. I'm just going to cradle your head, okay? I'm going to do a little bit of shaking, so just hang on. Just a little bit of shaking. Just a little bit. Try to loosen your neck, loosen the muscles in your head. We want full relaxation. All right, great. All right, how's that? Okay, great. Let me rinse you out again and then we'll set you up. And I cannot wait for you to see your hair. My gosh. Okay. Carol, I asked you to refill this. Here you are being a nuisance again. Yeah, I'm just going to struggle, Carol. Thanks for your help. You and your rat. Just you and your rat. It's fine. Perfect. Let me wipe my hands off. Carol, I know you didn't turn that heat off either. Because it's still occasionally coming on. Like, it really throws me off, actually. Alright, where's that little towel I wanted? Alright, we're just going to wrap this around your hair, okay? Wrap that around it. And you can go ahead and see it up and turn around, okay? Are you comfortable where you're at? Alright, I'm gonna come up here and take the little towel off your head. Didn't need a big one, that's for sure. Okay, okay. Let me, um, give me one moment. I'm gonna run the comb through it and everything. I want it to be perfect. Let's take the clothes off. Okay, that shampoo, like, it smells good in your hair. 
but when I'm using it all day to shampoo people's hair, the smell gets sickening, and I don't know what it is, but it's, I can't eat. Is that what the kids say? Do they still say that? I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of a conditioning treatment along your hairline here as it is drying because I just want to make sure that we don't have any breakage. In the front especially. Okay, and you said no cut. Did you want it styled? I lost my comb again. Okay, well, I thought you took this. Okay, did you want it styled? Well, I could blow dry it. I could blow dry it. Just put a little bit of a wave at the end. Okay, yeah, because you say it pretty much dries straight, right? So we'll just keep it straight, just look for something to the end there. Alrighty. Okay, so are you ready to see your hair? Okay. Okay, here is what it looks like. It's strawberry blonde. I got it that light. Yeah, it's strawberry. Is that okay? That's a drastic change, right? Okay, okay, good, good. Just comb the water out of it, see what, oh. Comb the water out of it, see what, you know, what we're working with here. Not too much damage, but again, just condition it. Um, Carol, does my client need to use any sort of like toning shampoo to keep this? Okay, well what Carol said, then what Carol said. Okay, so plug the little uh, blow dryer in. blow dryer here. I don't know if I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use this um, wooden brush to kind of just add a little flip at the end because my round brushes are missing because guess who got a hold of them? Actually it was Janine. It was Janine. They got light fingers don't they? Okay, well, I'm just going to grab your hair here and just start with this. Okay, just a little bit of something to the ends. Just a little something, something. Does that really matter? I'm supposed to blast your roots first, sorry. Okay, what does that do? Volume, volume, okay, the volume. I'm not sure my client really wanted volume. Did you want volume? You could take it or leave it, okay. They could take it or leave it. Sorry, your hair's getting in your face there. I'm just doing a little flip at the end, okay? Just a little bit of a flip. Just a little bit of a flip at the end there. This side now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to manage that with this side. Because, you know, I'm a lefty. And then, you know, when you're a righty and you try to do things lefty, it's a little backwards. I think this field's a matter of, like, teaching yourself how to be ambidextrous. Sorry if this side isn't as nice. Carol, are you lying to me about Janine's party? 
Is it? Well, the both of you lying about. Sorry, I bumped you. Both of you lying about. Um. Did, did you both go to see Justin Bieber? Carol, I don't believe. I don't believe, Carol. Had to rotate your chair a little bit. Sorry about that. Oh, we're going for a ride, are we? This chair, Carol, my chair is very broken. Who do we talk to? Your hair is done, darling. Okay. Alright. Did you want to schedule your next appointment? Doesn't have to be anytime soon, but with like the roots. Um, we'll have to just see how quickly your hair grows in. Mine, I typically go every two months. I know I'm not really supposed to push it that long, but like I work here. If I really desperately wanted it, I could have it done. But let me just do a little bit of brushing on your hair quickly. We just want you to leave with the best looking hair. Oh, it's gorgeous. You look great as a strawberry blonde. I also didn't want to take it away like too far from the color of your eyebrows, you know. I didn't want to make you look like... I don't know, like you're dyeing your eyebrows or something. Does your husband know you're doing this? Because that might be a big surprise for him. Oh, he doesn't? Okay, okay, okay. So you'll have to let me know. You have to text me and let me know because I know we got our numbers, right? Yeah, you have to let me know how that goes. All right, well, you look fantastic, darling. And honestly... Couldn't, couldn't have done it better myself. I mean, uh, your faith in me really fueled this, didn't it? Because Carol has no faith in me. Carol, I told Carol she makes me feel like a burden. I actually said that to her today. And it's true, she does. But look at her over there. Freaking, she's putting more food down. Do you see that? She's putting like literal pieces of fish and cheese on the floor. What? The heck is she doing? If I had someone to report her to, I would. Okay, I would. All right, what day did you want? I, that's the that's the clock app, not the calendar app. Sorry about that. Okay, so what I do have is we want monthly. Um, do you want to go two months, see how that is, or do you want to, because you can always call and reschedule if you think it's still too soon, whatever you want to do. Uh, March 2nd. Okay, we could do that. Let's shoot for March 2nd, see how that is. Oh, why don't I add a thing? Oh, sorry. It's, <laughs> it's been a little while. That break and everything. Okay, so we have my favorite client. Okay. And I will know who that is because it only matters if I know who it is. Unless everyone else in here is uh, on the same bandwagon. You know, I really don't know. You bring up a good point, though. You just said um, about why why there's only been a couple of us in here every time. I really don't know. I don't know if the other girls are like, I don't know, working against us or something, trying to like make it look like this salon's not the greatest anymore. Maybe they're going to go work with Geraldine. Oh no, you're right. Oh jeez. Because Bethany, I swear Bethany said she was going to stay though. You think she's... Oh no, you think the one's practicing on my hair too so she can go be with Geraldine? Oh jeez. I don't know. 
you bring up a great point, though. I don't know why. I mean, I guess the holiday, we'll see how things go. The holiday had people all over the place. All right, so I have you in here about 11, same time. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, do you have any questions? Yeah, I'll we'll just get that stuff she suggested and then it'll help maintain your hair. I, um, I don't know if it's obvious or not, but I do not have a toning shampoo or nothing that I use in my hair. Which, I don't know how I'm getting by, but, I mean, it don't look awful. No, it don't look awful. I don't know. I don't know. Just see how it is. Don't wash it out. Don't use cold water, by the way. Or do you have to? Because, I, I mean, I did put a toner in. With that shampoo. Use cold water on your hair, just to be sure. I'm still unsure of how all this works. Anyway, you're in the calendar. You'll be back. We'll see what you want to do then, okay? And, um... Yeah, I'm glad you had a good Christmas break, holiday break. And, um... Hopefully next time you come back... Carol won't have rats here anymore. I'm going to have to put rat traps around just to keep her from trying to collect rats. I don't know if I can tell the Humane Society or something like that. Get some sort of help, animal control. I really don't want them to be injured, though. If they, well, we're not, it's not like we had an infestation problem. I'm sure it was Carol both times that was luring them in here. They, don't, they shouldn't have to, to die, but like... What other option do we have now? They're going to think this is a place to come for food. They're going to start eating the chemicals. They're going to start finding them in the back room. They may even mutate. Oh, jeez. You know, I'm going down a rabbit hole. I don't want to keep you any longer than, you know, you have to be here. I feel really awful about this because, you know, it smells like fish in here. Bringing rats in here. <sighs> It should be an after-hours activity or something. I don't know. Anyway, um, I will see you soon. Carol, Carol, can you take my client, please, and do the uh, checking out services? I put in the, in the iPad what I did. Please do not try to undercharge me. I'm sorry, I got a strange text message from Davey. So a couple couple of text messages, strange ones from Davey. Um, and I'm going to have to handle that now. But Carol will take you up front, take your, take your payment, and then probably confirm the appointment. Okay. Alright, it was a pleasure as always. And I will see you soon, okay? Alright. Bye. Carol, get your bum bum up there, please. My client does not have all day. She, they probably want to get out of, like, the fish smell, the rats. I don't want to be here anymore. I may even go home. You can take care of walk-ins by yourself and whoever that person is. Juggle. Just juggle. Because you made it not pleasant in here. So... I'm going to, I'm going to take my lunch. I need to get out of here with this smell and hell. I don't know what I'm doing.